And back here in Washington, syndicated columnist Charles Krautheimer just wrote a blistering opinion piece about Donald Trump. Charles is here to go on the record. Nice to see you, Charles. Good to be here. Okay, you, defi you define Trump as a man who defied every political rule and prevailed to win his party's nomination. Can you explain that? Well, I mean, he did stuff you don't expect anybody would do and survive. We called his demise a million times. We were wrong every time. The John McCain episode, the Megyn Kelly episode. I mean, there are sort of so many you can't remember them. Uh, it was almost like as if the whole idea was to create so many scandals that one would erase the one before. But, of course, he prevailed in a decisive way against 16 other candidates. That, to me, is an amazing feat. But I think what's going on right now is he's in the general election. The pivot that we've all heard about is never going to happen because it's not a matter of wrong strategy. It's a matter of character. He didn't make a mistake when he attacked the Gold Star father and mother. He was reacting to insult, to, to what he saw as an insult, a slighting, disrespect. And he did it. That's what he does reflexively. That defines him. And anybody else, I think, would have reflected on this, of the damage it would do. It's done tremendous damage. We know that. He's been told that. He seems to have stopped. But I think that's it's a character issue, and that's his problem. All right, but if, he, if, we, if everyone called for his demise during the primary, and he defied all odds, and right now you're sort of calling for his demise now in light of this latest gold star, I mean, what, I mean do, does this sort of thing the reflect? The difference is? What's the difference, right? The constituency. When you're running in a more narrow constituency, a conservative constituency, Republican constituency, he got about 15 million votes. The electorate is 10 times that size. You've got a far different audience, far less receptive to the message he had about immigration, about trade, about NATO, about isolationism. There's a very different elect, uh, universe he's operating in. Given that, he may not have the success he did before. I'm not saying this is his demise. He's come back too many times. But I think everybody would agree the odds of his winning are a lot smaller now than they were two weeks ago. All right. Um, being a candidate is a lot different than actually being actually uh, governing. Um, how do you rate or how do you assess or, uh, a Secretary Hillary Clinton as a candidate? How's her race? I've been saying this for two years. She is one of the weakest candidates I have ever seen. She is probably the weakest Democratic candidate at least since 1988, probably longer. Why? I'm she is not a good politician. I mean, her husband is a great politician. Uh, and he could lie extremely well. Look at her performance now, trying to explain away the emails. She started with a lie when it first happened, a major lie, several layers of lies about why she did it, how she did it, whether anything was classified. She can't escape it. Her husband was often caught in those situations. He found his way out. So, number one, she just is not... Look, the fact... It was Obama himself who, in 2008, was asked in a debate whether she was likable. Likable said, enough, he said. Likable enough, and unfortunately he was right, from, unfortunately from her point of view. Look, she starts a campaign. Remember the first, when, when she was launching her book, that was essentially the launching of her campaign. She talks to Diane Sawyer and she says, my husband and I, when we left the White House, we were broke. We had trouble paying the mortgages on our houses. Well, politics 101, when you're pleading poverty, you don't refer to your domiciles in the plural. I mean, she doesn't get elementary politics, and her style is not attractive. She's a solid, I mean, as a, could she govern? I think she probably could. But as a candidate, she's extremely weak, and she is lucky to have drawn the weakest candidate on the Republican side. Charles, thank you.